Hey guys, I have some really interesting footage for you. Here we have Half-Life 2 Lost Coast captured at 800 by 600 resolution. And we can see it's quite pixelated, but let's switch over to another capture. This one is also at 800 by 600, but it uses super sampling. And look at the difference. I try to put them side by side and wow, it's just a much more detailed image it looks more photorealistic and it sort of looks like as if they crammed more detail into the same resolution and that's pretty much uh, what super sampling is all about so what's going on here super sampling anti-aliasing also called full screen anti-aliasing or down sampling has been around for ages but it's quite computational expensive, so we need a decent video card. However, playing older games, they're not too demanding, so it's a really interesting feature to make older games look nicer. Let's take a look what super sampling does. Here we are in paint.net and we have an image with 38 by 21 pixels, fairly low resolution. And then I'm drawing a line from the bottom left to the top right corner. And we can clearly see how pixelated this line is. Now let's try the same thing with super sampling. We now have the image at a much higher resolution, 3840 by 2160, which is ultra HD. And again, I'm drawing a line, but I'm using a larger pen size of 80. And now I go into the options and I resize this image down to the same 38 by 21 pixel resolution. And this is what we're getting. The line is now anti-aliased with pixels being blended smoothly together. And basically the line looks smoother and less pixelated. And this is basically what super sampling anti-aliasing does. We are rendering the graphics at a much higher resolution and then downsampling the image. And the beauty of super sampling is that it blends every single pixel on the screen. It doesn't matter if the pixels are from geometric shapes or from textures or transparent textures, every single pixel is blended together and we get a really nice smooth image with more detail and this sort of photorealistic look. In modern games, we don't see super sampling in the options too much anymore and this is because there is a price and that is performance rendering the game at a much higher resolution you need a very decent graphics card the situation is so bad that nvidia for example removed the option from the drivers they uh, called it they said well this performance loss is just not acceptable but lucky for us we are into old games they are less demanding and high-end video cards from 10 years ago quite affordable and they have enough performance to run these games at very high resolutions. I have some benchmarks of course, so stay tuned for that. But where anti-aliasing becomes even more important is motion. When you have pixel graphics and things are moving, you get something that looks like shimmering or crawling pixels. Here we are in the game Far Cry. We're running at 1024 by 768 and we can see those palm trees they move from the left to right and we can really see the pixel crawling and shimmering going on and the these uh, moving objects they basically stick out and they can kind of uh, take you out of the game uh, lessen the immersion so to speak now there are faster anti-aliasing methods for example msaa or multi-sample anti-aliasing so let's take uh, a look at far cry the same scene but with 4x msaa and what we can see here is it cleans up geometric shapes, lines and edges of uh, polygons, but it cannot clean up those palm trees. And this is because the palm trees, they're not geometric shapes, they're actually transparent textures. And because super sampling processes every single pixel, it doesn't matter if it's a transparent texture, any texture, a geometric shape, everything gets cleaned up. So let's take a look at the same scene with 8x super sampling anti-aliasing and we can now see the palm trees, they're still moving, but there's much less uh, shimmering or pixel crawling going on. Everything looks nicely blended together, smooth and photorealistic. 
Now let's have a look at the performance. I didn't want to go too high end. Let's start with something basic. This is the Radeon R7 250. It's got 384 shaders running at a gigahertz and two gigabytes of VRAM. It's a low profile single slot video card, so nothing high end. We're using Windows XP Service Pack 3 and this is the Dell Optiplex. I've been using this in a recent video. It's got a Core i5. I believe it's a 3590 with four gigabytes of RAM and also a 500 gigabyte SSD. Let's have a look at the driver options and we do a quick before and after. Go to 3D and then anti-aliasing. Let's leave it at use application setting. That means the game will determine the setting. Let's run Half-Life 2 Lost Coast. We're running at 800 by 600. The same resolution as the screenshots in the beginning of the video. 800 by 600. Let's load the same scene. This is how I got the screenshots. And there we go. We can clearly see there's lots of aliasing, lots of jaggies going on. Okay, let's quit the game and then I'll show you how to enable super sampling. So we go back to the driver, change the mode to override, change the level to 8x and then click on anti-aliasing mode and make sure this one is set on super sampling. Click apply and let's run the game again. Load game and the same scene, off we go. There you go and now we have a beautiful image all the pixels have been cleaned up, photorealistic look, and it looks way more detailed and way smoother than before. I chose to test Far Cry. This is quite a demanding Windows XP era game. We've got the ultra details enabled and also 16x and isotropic filtering. And we're running at 1024 by 768. Without anti-aliasing, we're getting over 200 FPS. With 2x super sampling, the performance drops to 166. With 4X super sampling, the performance really drops to 61.9 FPS. And at 8X super sampling, this video card is not fast enough. We're only getting 30.7 FPS. So the more recent the game is, the more demanding the graphics settings are, you need a more powerful video card. So this model has 384 shaders. There are lots of options to choose from. This is a much more high-end video card. It's the Radeon uh, 69, 6970. And this is really a beast. It's got something around 1,500 shaders. Needs a decent power supply, eight pin and six pin. And this will be able to handle Far Cry even at 8X super sampling with silky smooth frame rates. And now let's take a look at some more games because I wanted to see if we can enable super sampling in a range of games. Here we have Tomb Raider 2 running at 1024 by 768. And yes, this game supports super sampling. Let's compare the quality with 8x super sampling and we can see it does a really good job at cleaning up those jaggies. GL Quake are next. So OpenGL games are supported. 1024 by 768 and this is just after completing the first level and the camera is moving around a little bit so we can see a ton of shimmering and pixel crawling going on and again 8x super sampling does a terrific job at cleaning up the image making everything uh, seem unique photorealistic and more smooth here we have screamer 4x4 and we can see something interesting so this game uses a physics engine and we can see without anti-aliasing uh, the car sort of twitches around a little bit but that doesn't happen at super sampling and maybe that's because the game is being rendered at a much higher resolution giving the physics engine more pixels to work with a higher precision but yeah basically again it cleans up the entire image we get a much smoother more detailed image I've also tested Blood 2 again at 1024 by 768. This game only supports 16 bit colors, so it looks a little bit rough, but uh, again, we can see 8x super sampling doing a good job cleaning up the jaggies in this scene. It's not the best scene. 
but um, yeah, the game in general seems to be a little bit on the dark side, but we get the picture. So guys, super sampling anti-aliasing is one of those things, once you've seen it, it's really hard to unsee it uh, and go back to playing without anti-aliasing. The image quality is just amazing. A uh, couple of pointers I would like to make. Firstly, you've seen in the Radeon drivers, we have an option to enable super sampling. Unfortunately, Nvidia decided to not have such an option in the official drivers anymore. I might do a future follow-up video where I can where we'll show you how to do it on Nvidia cards. We need to use a third-party utility to unlock those features. Although I found compatibility with games to be pretty good, all the games I tried, I was able to enable super sampling. It's not guaranteed, so there might be your favorite game out there where this doesn't work. Now, if you're running older games on a modern computer with Windows 10 or Windows 11, there is good news for you. With Radeon cards, you can enable virtual super resolution, which basically does the same thing. And Nvidia has the same technology. It's called dynamic super resolution. And this is handy for more modern games where enabling super sampling anti-aliasing doesn't work. Many games, many modern games, um, use shaders and effects that are not compatible with traditional anti-aliasing techniques. So here, for example, a good example is Dead Space, yeah, that has a ton of uh, jaggies and crawling and shimmering pixels. Yeah, You have a 1080p monitor, use virtual super res uh, resolution or dynamic super resolution, enable 4K, and then it downsamples to 1080p and you will get a beautiful image. So there you have it guys, this was using super sampling anti-aliasing on AMD Radeon cards under Windows XP to make older games look a lot nicer. And the difference is really uh, great. Uh, I actually couldn't believe it when I looked at these Half-Life 2 Lost Coast uh, screenshots. There's just a lot more detail in the version using super sampling. The big challenge is of course performance. So if you're running a retro system that's already struggling with Windows XP games, then this probably is not something you can turn on. But yeah, nothing stops you from upgrading your hardware. Even high-end parts from 10, 15 years ago, they shouldn't cost too much. And some of these games are really worth it. They're amazing, better than what I'm seeing out with modern games at the moment. And yeah, you wanna play them with the highest graphics, the best audio, and that's really what this channel is about, using older parts, older computers to play these classic games. And now I want to hear from you. What is your experience with anti-aliasing? Have you heard of super sampling AA? Have you used it in the past? And is that something you are enabling now with your old games? And yeah, what about compatibility? Would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like old computers and classic games, please subscribe to the channel. Lots of videos coming up and thanks for watching. Give it a like, leave a comment down below, share the video with your friends and I shall see you soon with another one.